let's talk carbs and sugars today, okay? Guys do not need to be afraid of carbs and sugars. Now, when I say sugars, I mean, to a certain extent, you know, we're not eating three ice cream cones a day and cookies and all that kind of stuff. Um, but there's no reason that you can't have some sugar in your diet or that you need to restrict carbs to lose weight, okay? Losing weight is calories in versus calories out. It is not a low carb diet. It is not keto. It is not paleo. If one of those worked for you, that's fantastic. But it comes down to it was you were eating less calories than you were burning, okay? So if paleo helped you to reduce your calorie intake, fantastic. But paleo is not a weight loss strategy. If going low carb helped you to lose weight, it was because you were eating less calories than you were burning. Again, again, low carb is not magic. There is no magic diet across the board, guys. It's always, always calories in, versus calories out. But again, if one of those platforms helped you do that, then bravo, okay? I don't, it doesn't bother me, it doesn't matter to me which, which way you like to eat, what um, uh, diet you choose, any of that kind of stuff. I work with clients that are vegan, vegetarian, paleo, keto. I don't care about that. What I care about is the quality of the food that you're eating, and if we are on a weight loss journey that we're doing less calories in, then calories out, okay? So with that said, you do not need to restrict your carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are a fantastic fuel source. They make you feel so good throughout the day. They give you energy throughout the day. If you are crashing every day at like 2, 3 p.m., chances are you're not eating enough, you're not eating enough carbohydrates, you're over-caffeinated, under-hydrated, any of those things. You need to eat carbs. When I have clients that are going through an extremely stressful situation or their job is stressful all the time, you can bet your butt they are on a ton of carbohydrates because they function better when they have a good fuel source coming in. They sleep better when they have a good fuel source coming in, okay? So I just can't stress it enough. Low carb is not a magic key to weight loss. If again, if you lost weight doing low carb, it's just because that low carb helped you to reduce your calories. It maybe helped you pull out some of the processed, filled, empty calorie foods that you were eating that were carbohydrate um, dominant type foods. And that's great if it's helping you do that, but it is not a magic key, okay? So don't restrict. Don't restrict to the point that you binge. Um, I see that a lot with a lot of my clients. Um, they will keep things out of their diet. Um, you know, I eat cookies several days a week. I eat some kind of sweet candy, chocolate chips, whatever, at least five out of seven days of the week, okay? And I never feel the need or the urge to overeat on any of that because I allow myself to have that stuff throughout the week. And I still make goals. If you follow me on my Facebook page or my Instagram, you can see I'm pretty fit. I'm pretty lean. <laughs> I'm 42 and a mom, uh, one year postpartum. And I'm very happy with the shape that I'm in. I'm strong. I'm healthy. I'm hydrated. I sleep good. I manage my stress. And like I said, I, my thing is cookies and I have cookies almost every day of the week. Um, I make it fit in my numbers. I make it work, um, for the week and I make progress. So you know, it's just learning quality of food. It's learning how much food to have um, and just becoming more aware of um, your body and the way it responds to um, when you're properly nourished versus not is, is huge. So I just, I encourage you to start learning your body a little bit more, listening to your body a little bit more. Give yourself some carbs. Like I said, on average, I eat about 200 grams of carbs a day. Okay, 200 grams of carbs a day. And I have very defined abs, um, arms, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and I don't put on weight eating carbohydrates. It's because I have a good um, mixture of proteins, carbs, and fats in my diet. And I eat where my calories are supposed to be for maintaining my current physique. Uh, so don't be scared of carbs. I kind of trailed off on this, but if it, I just, I want you guys, especially women, they seem to be the ones that are more um, terrified of eating carbs that they're gonna make you fat. Well, yeah, if you eat a whole pack of Oreos a day, yeah. But again, it's not the carbs that are doing it, it's because you're eating more calories than you're burning, okay? If you were eating 
16 chicken breasts a day, you're still gonna put on weight like you would if you ate a pack of Oreos a day because you're still eating more than what you um, burned throughout the day. So it is not specific to carbs, sugar, protein, or fat. It's eating more than what you're burning. So eat some carbs. Again, if you have any questions um, on how much to be eating, all that kind of stuff, you can pick up one of my programs. It will walk you through it. It will explain it. It will tell you everything you need to know as far as nutrition. Um, you can find all of that at CynthiaWilliamsFitness.com. You can find me on Instagram at CynthiaWilliams underscore fitness or CynthiaWilliamsFitness on Facebook. And I have lots and lots of good info out there um, in regards to all of this. So eat your carbs, people.